these and the main important thing guys when you know when we're looking into adding here um, basically we're just looking into seeing if we could you know combine any like terms and unfortunately with uh, in this case we don't have any like terms so if I'm just gonna apply this addition basically what this means is to take the fx function and the g of x function and combine them well if we had like terms we could go ahead and combine them in this case we don't really have any like terms so therefore the f plus g of x is simply just 3x you know, plus maybe square root of x plus 1. Doesn't matter what order it is, right? But the main important thing that I really want to talk to you guys is about the domain. So if you guys look at the domain of each of these functions, this we know automatically is a line. We shouldn't even have to like blink and think about that. We say, oh, it's a line. Domain is all real numbers. Didn't mean to hit you. So here, the domain is actually, yeah. All real numbers, right? This here, the domain is 0 to infinity, all positive numbers, right? Because you can't take the square root of a negative number. So when we look at the combination, what I want you guys to see is the only restriction that we still have is the square root of x, right? So the domain is just going to be from 0 to infinity, all right? So the combination, if you look at this, the domain is basically, it's not being affected, it's basically just going to be a combination of the two domains of our two functions.